What's up everyone, it's Dakota with Tarmi Analytics and in this video I'm leveraging ChatGPT artificial intelligence to take a very very simple data set and then add a bunch of juicy details, tons of insight, even some latitude and longitude so you can throw it in a map in Power BI and it all happens in a matter of minutes. It's super easy. The use cases are literally endless. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit like, subscribe, let me know what you want to see. All right, so step one, we want to navigate to openai.com because we want to get access to their API. So log in upper right. Once we're in here, I'm going to go straight to the API. And if you go up into your profile, you can see there's view API keys. That's what we want. And you can generate a new key here. A screen will pop up. Make sure you copy that key. You're going to need it. Save it somewhere safe. Let's jump over into a blank Power BI desktop file. And we are going to jump straight into Power Query. I'm going to hit a blank query here. All right, so I've pasted this code into our blank query, advanced editor. And essentially what it's doing is it's setting up an API request over to the chat completion. API endpoint over at OpenAI. It's sending a user message, it's receiving a response, and then it's extracting the contents of that response and putting it into a variable. So let's see how this thing works. One very important bit, make sure your API key that we grabbed from the very first step in this video, make sure you paste it right here. That's going to be unique to you. And that's the last step to get this thing to run. Okay, so we've created a function in Power Query and it's asking us for our prompt. So that's what we're going to be sending over to ChatGPT. So let's ask a super logical question like, is Bigfoot real? And we all already know the answer, but let's see what ChatGPT thinks. Um, yeah, lots of words here, but effectively Bigfoot is real. So let's rename our query and call it chat gpt uh, you can delete that first response we got and let's actually get chat gpt to make us some data so Let's just copy here, go back to home, enter data. And I'm going to call this fish. And then I will paste. Now we've got a table ready to go and we're going to add some chat GPT data in here. Okay, so now let's actually use some chat GPT functionality to literally create useful data from our very, very simple table that we just brought in. So we're going to hit the add column ribbon, invoke custom function. We're going to call this super secret fishing uh, details. And the function query we're going to use is chat GPT. Yeah, we'll do that. We're going to rewrite it anyway with some. Okay, look, so it already, it already took the context of what's in our fish column and gave us what looks like a summary of the species. We want something more useful than that. And instead of typing it all out, I'm going to paste it and then I will explain it. So what I'm doing here is I am providing context to our chat GPT message going over to the API. And I'm basically saying, you know, this column here, every record is, you know, a different type of fish. So give me, and then I'm giving it directions. This is actually, you know, what you do in just the normal chat GPT interface. Give me one lesser known location where I can target the species near South Central Alaska, where I am. And then please also give me a very brief summary of what lures or bait to use. Okay, awesome. That took about eight seconds to run. So that's not so bad at all. And let's just take a look at some of this. So King Salmon, obviously the uh, trophy of our people up here in South Central Alaska, saying I can go 
uh, troll in Resurrection Bay in Seward, which is a small town on the coast, south central Alaska. And it's given me, I mean, that's not amazingly useful, but I guess if you're um, completely new to this, that is some good information. I'm going to adjust my prompt a little bit. And I'm going to ask for the lat and long coordinates. Okay, so adding lat and long, they ChatGPT brought that in. And as you can see, it reran the whole function, right? So when you rerun the whole function, you're effectively sending these prompts back to OpenAI again, one at a time. So as you know, ChatGPT may return a completely different answer, still following the same prompt, using the same context, but that's you know just just a function of how it works. We just asked it to rerun the chat all again. Do another invoke function. So this will be like a nested chat GPT uh, request on our data. And I'm gonna call this lat long. So what I've pasted in here, and I do have an error, is I am giving the context of the super secret phishing details column. And I'm saying that's, you know, that's the column that has our lat and long in it. I'm making a new column. I wanna call it lat and long. And I'm gonna tell chat GPT to please, I always say please for some reason, please give me the latitude and longitude in a format that I can very simply split by comma in Power BI to make two columns. Let's see if this works. Okay, so pretty good, not perfect, um, but for the most part, it parsed it out. Uh, so that's effectively ChatGPT doing some nice text cleaning for you. Cool, so the parse worked. I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna split by delimiter. And comma will be my delimiter, press okay. So I've got my Latin long being split. Let's call this one latitude and this one longitude. Super secret phishing details and fish close and apply. All right, so that thing loaded up and let's look at our data. So there's our five species of fish. Pull in our super secret fishing details. Lat on lat, long on long. Tooltips can be our super secret data. And let's make fish be the legend. So lighter blue arctic char, darker blue halibut. And let's see, this must be Montague Island. Yep, so one lesser known location, Montague Island. And this looks like Anchor Point. Yep, the Anchor River. What's going on way up here? Paxson Lake, right near Paxson. So ChatGPT gave me accurate information. So a lot of the, you know, useful details in this whole data set was completely generated by ChatGPT. And obviously, I mean, there's, there's millions of use cases for this in Power Query and Power BI. Um, I just kind of was working on it today. And this is the only thing I could think of because I'm going fishing this weekend. But um, hopefully this is useful. Hopefully this sparks some ideas with you guys. I'd love to hear what you do with it. Leave a comment. Um, let me know what else you want to see on this channel. And if you could, please subscribe. That would be, that would be great. And I'll keep working on more content. So thank you for watching.